Good morning, welcome back to Hillstown Farm. And what a morning it is. Sun is blazing, you've got a cloud in the sky, and a uh, perfect start to be fair. Whew, it's gonna be a scorcher today. Um, first job of the day, I'm gonna feed. Uh, we always check the cows or the heifers first, make sure there's nothing calving, and then we start feeding. So, push that all up. That's that's been a couple of bales now, which is a good job. Some people asking yesterday about the the wee boluses we're using for the cows, magnesium boluses. Um, so these are magnesium. We put them into the cows. They are slow release. So if you're not from a farming background, it's simple as it's it sort of melts away and releases magnesium into the into the cow. Uh, the reason for that is if the cows just calved, just milk and right uh, with a calf sucking, they have a tendency of using their magnesium supplies and there's not much magnesium in magnesium reserves. There's not much magnesium in the grass at this time of year. Um, grass is starting to burst up. So a wee bit light on magnesium in this part of the world. And uh, yeah, get a wee bit of stress. The cows use more magnesium and then it becomes deficient and then there's problems. You know you've got a problem whenever a cow, you see a cow staggering in the field or lying down and then the next thing it's very very hard to get them back again, they usually die or there's ways to put magnesium into them at that stage but it's a bit late. So prevention is better than cure, it's just a little bolus, it's perfectly safe, it's a great wee job. Um, we've been doing it for years, we had, year, we had problems 20 years ago and figured out what it was and so We've been putting bolses into our cows, going out. Only if they've got milk, they go out. If they're going out dry, it's not a problem. So today we are going to fertilizer. It's very late. We're about two weeks late in the fertilizer. And it's uh, been one of them years again. So I've never seen it so wet at this time of year. It has been a dry day in March and it's just been real harsh. So the uh, ground's still very, very sticky, but it has to be done. We have to get out there and get it on because we want to be cutting silage. Ideally, it would have been the 1st of June. It's now looking like the second week of June, maybe. One week anyway, into June. So whenever the nitrogen sort off and the grass starting to shit, but it's going to be late. So it's just a real hash. Because we've got a second cut to do, and then sometimes we get if it's good growing season right through then we'll do a third cut but we'll see how that goes we're going to go big this time on first cut uh just to get the bales we need bales for next winter so that's the job for today uh, a bit of grazing ground to do is too to get the grass growing for the cattle to get some more cows out and bits and pieces which we normally would have been slurrying and we wouldn't have needed slur uh, fertilizer at all so one of those things but let's get at it
of uh, fur laser suit on the silly screen. Take a silly screen finished, it's very late, we're about three weeks late. And uh, put on at a rate of about two bags of dinner, that's about 100 kilos. Oh, 100 kilos on the region. left and then we're going to go and do a lot of basin ground. That'll go on about roughly about, about half a bag to the acre. Anything that can slurry will be half a bag to the acre and anything that hasn't got slurry will get a bag to the acre. And that's plenty too. It's, uh, I don't want a big massive brush of grass too. The grass is doing alright at the minute and that's the plan. So yeah, we'll stick at it. chicken field for the hens, we're laying hens and uh, just next to the farm shop so it's never been ploughed and uh, it's getting kind of rough especially my chickens kind of dig everything up so we say that it'd be a good idea to give a wee bit of ploughed, reseed it and I've got a few more ideas to do with this field so yeah There can be a little free for a play on and uh, yeah, do the job. That field played, all finished. It wasn't that big. It still took me a few hours, like, but so we play. And I think it took us a third of the field just to set the thing up. <laughs> I'm no play man. Don't get me any. Any. Uh, I'm, I'm just not a play man, alright. So I, uh, I'll be no expert, but I like doing it. It's great, great enjoyable. And it's working. It's working well for you. Um, it's not perfect, don't get me wrong, it's nowhere near perfect, 
but uh, it's grand, it'll do the job. We'll hopefully give it, I'm going to give it a roll before the hurry, and then uh, I'll push everything down, and then we'll, we'll give it a hurry, and then we'll sew it, and uh, we're good to go. That's the plan anyway, we'll see how that goes. As long as the water doesn't break, that's the only thing, but sure. Other things on the agenda. Uh, first one, my heifer's cab. Well, you see that in a minute. And then these other two, I don't know what these are doing in their own field. So, you need to see. Oh, you can't even see them. So, that's the first heifer to calf. First heifer to calf. So, we bull calf. Oh, there's a door. It's Monday. It's a Monday day. Not a lot of heat. But seems to be doing well the pair. Just need a few more to join her. Well, what a day. <laughs> it's been sun has been blazing all day. I'm gonna be burnt today, I'm sure. But hope you enjoyed the video. Uh just a little few little snippets of, of spreading fertilizer. Um it's not a massive big sore, but big enough for us. And uh this is a job, we got a full bag, 600 kilos onto it. What more do you want? This time of year you probably could do a wee bit bigger, but we're all close to the farm here and there's no real long haul runs, so what's the point? Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring a little bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.